Did you know when you're in Photoshop, it's actually possible to export all of your individual layers as image files without having to go all the way to file, save a copy, and then selecting a image file from the drop down here. Well, in this video, we're going to be discovering the easy two step process that allows us to export all of our layers individually in Photoshop 2021. So just before we begin this video, if you are interested in learning more Photoshop tutorials, then do check out the playlists that we have on the channel. And also remember to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel to make sure that you never miss a new video. Great, so we're in Photoshop and I have created a very quick demo project. It's a very simple file. We essentially have one background layer, which is just a solid color. Then we have two text objects, one for the main title and one for a sort of tagline. And then we've also got the main image or graphic or illustration which is the main focus of our image. Before we delve into how you can actually export each layer individually, if you're looking to export the image as a whole, then I have already made a video as to how you can export these as images. So I'll make sure that I leave a link in the description below if you want to check that out instead. But essentially what this technique allows us to do is export any of these layers separately. So for example, if I only wanted an image file of purely the title, then this is the quickest way to do it. So prior to actually exporting the layer itself, so say I wanted to export a PNG file of just this graphic, just this illustration, which is one separate layer in my project. Well, before we do that, let's go to File, Export, and Export Preferences. And then we have this new Preferences window that pops up. So essentially what we can do here is we can actually set what type of file we want our layers to export as. So if you don't do this, it's always going to export as a PNG, which I believe is the automatic default that Photoshop exports them as. But you might not actually want to export your layer as a PNG file, in which case we also have these other options, including JPEG and GIF, which are very common as well. So if you want any of these other options, then make sure that you have these ticked. I'm going to leave it as a PNG file for now. The next option that we have under PNG is if we want it to be a transparent file, in which case there is an alpha channel, which means that we can actually see through parts of our image. So if you want that, then make sure that is ticked. And if you want it to be a smaller file, perhaps you're using it online and you want to use as little space as possible, then this is also an option for you. Next, it will actually ask us where we want to save our export. At the moment, it's said to ask us every time. So every time I press export, a window will pop up that allows me to save my file in a specific place. Or if you wanted to save them all in a specific area, then you can always do this second option in which Photoshop will actually generate a new folder next to where this current document is saved and it will save all of your assets in that new folder. But I'm just going to leave it on ask where to export each time. Now, if you want to add any metadata to your file, so copyright and contact info, then you can also do that. It's also got some information about color space and then we also have export as location, but you can ignore that for now because we've already set it here. Now, just quickly, if you did set it to JPEG, you do get some other options. So for example, you can set the quality of your image and the rest are very similar. The same goes for GIF, except for this one, you don't actually have any other options or for SVG where you don't actually have the option to change any of the color spaces. But I'm going to leave it as let's go for a PNG file for now and just press OK. So we haven't actually exported anything yet. All we've done is actually saved our preferences. So now we can go ahead and it will actually save our exports as the image type that we wanted. So for example, let's start with the title. If I wanted to save a PNG of just this title layer alone, well, all I have to do is identify the layer in my layers panel. And I know that it is this title layer. I can just press on it and then right click once. And then close to the top, you'll see a option that says quick export as PNG. And if you set that preference to be anything else like JPEG, SVG or GIF, then that will say it here as well. So all I have to do is press on that once. And then we have this window to which I was referring earlier. And this basically allows us to customize where we want to save our file. It's also already set the default name as the layer name. So as you can see, the layer was named title and it is automatically set to title.png. So I'm happy with this. I'm just going to save it next to my old file and press save. And now it's actually saved our export. So if I just quickly open up that location in my finder, then as you can see, I am now in the same folder, but in my finder. And as you can see, we've now got the image that we have exported as a PNG. So if I double click on that, 
as you can see, we now have our individual layer exported, which is great. So I can just close that and go back to Photoshop. Now, let's say I wanted to do the same for this image. Well, all I have to do once again is right click on the layer, go to export as PNG, and then just press save again, as long as my name is correct and I want to save it in this location. Then I can go back to my finder. And as you can see, here we have the export of the PNG image file, which is very, very handy. Now you might be wondering why there are all of these dots. This is actually in the correct design. If I just go to Photoshop quickly, this isn't actually just this illustration. If I just hold command or control for windows and press on the thumbnail of the layer once, as you can see, that's the selection of this actual image layer. So I could have probably cleaned this up, but hey, I'm just gonna quickly deselect that using command and D or control D for windows. So now we've actually learned how we can change the preferences of our exports and how we can actually export individual layers within Photoshop to different image file formats. But let's say we wanted to combine one or more layers into our export, but we didn't actually want to export the entire image. So at the moment we have this image and then we have this background, which is kind of black with a grid pattern on the back. And as you can see in our layers, this is this final layer here. So say we wanted to export just this image and leave the background out. Now let me show you how you can actually export this incorrectly first. So if I select all of the layers like we might normally do and right click on my mouse and then go to export as PNG. And as you can see, I've actually deleted all of the files that we used as demonstration earlier. And then just make sure that we're in the right location once again and press open. And now go to our finder. As you can see what it's done, it's actually exported all of these layers, but individually. So this is a great way if you want to quickly bulk export a whole range of individual layers. But if you were looking to export all of these layers as one file, then this isn't the correct way to do it. So the best way to do this is if we go to Photoshop again, and still making sure that all of the correct layers that we want to export are selected, hold and drag them into the group layers icon, which is the kind of folder in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, it's created a new group. Then if we make sure that this group is selected, right click on our mouse and go to quick export as PNG. Then as you can see, we no longer have that strange window where it said open. Instead, we've once again got this save as window. So as you can see, once again, it's taken the name of the group layer. So as you can see, it's called group one and still a PNG file that we're creating. And once you're happy with the location, press save. And then quickly go to the finder window again. Then this time, as you can see, we now have a PNG of all of those layers together. So all we had to do was make sure that all of our layers were grouped. And this allowed us to actually export the entire group as one layer. Another way you could also have done this, if we quickly go back to Photoshop and press Command and Z to undo this group or Control and Z for Windows, you can actually also right click and press Convert to Smart Object and then right click on the Smart Object, go to Quick Export as PNG and then quickly change the name because I think this is going to actually collide with that tag layer that we have. And press Save and go to our finder window again, then as you can see, we've now also got the smart object.png, which is the export of the smart object layer. Great, so in this video, we covered how to change your export preferences for exports in Photoshop, how to export layers individually, how to export layers in bulk, and how to export a group of layers to make sure that it all goes into one image format. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll try to answer as many as possible. And do remember to leave a like on the video and to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a Photoshop tutorial.